Xfinity Mobile. You know, most college football players get to spend four or five more glorious years on the gridiron. Then graduation, then their careers are kaput. But as Jack Fitzsimmons shows us, a pair of former Castle and Spartans are keeping it going on, the other, on another continent. Brattleboro native Tony Martinez wasn't always planning to become a wide receiver. My senior year, I suffered an injury playing quarterback. And one of my best friends, she was uh, like a halfback at the time, and we, we just kind of flop switch, uh, flip positions. And that injury set him on a path that ended with Martinez's name dotting the Castleton football record book. He finished in the top five in career catches, receiving yards, and touchdown grabs. I was actually recruited to Castleton to play DB. I think my freshman year, we had recruited so many uh, defensive backs, and we didn't have that many receivers. It's a lot of fun. Like it, It's a new position to me that I, I had to learn and master, and I still have a lot more learning to do. But when Martinez graduated in 2021, he thought his playing days were behind him. It took one of his former teammates to convince Martinez that he still had some catches left in him. So one of my best friends, Mel Harris, who also played at Castleton, and he kind of was the one that put my name out there. So when I finished here at Castleton, um, I knew I wanted to play again. Um, I just didn't know it, how it would happen. 2019 Castleton grad and the Spartans all-time total yardage leader, Mo Harris, has spent the past few years plying his trade in Europe bouncing around the French and German pro leagues. Football obviously is a little bit different there, but it's still it's still football, it's still good football. Uh, guys love the game the same as they do over here. Mostly every team has American players as well. What's cool about their football is there can only be two Americans on the field at a time. It makes your job that much more difficult because all eyes are on you when you have the ball. Harris was considering hanging up his cleats after last season, but then, he had an idea. I was home over break and I was talking to my mom. I said it wouldn't be right for me to retire um, if I didn't open the door for someone else. I was kind of expecting to come back and coach and help out with Castleton again. I guess one of the Germany coaches had reached out to him, kind of said like, hey, like we're really interested. And he's like, uh, kind of telling him like, I was planning on hanging him up. However, if like you can find a way to offer one of my good friends, Tony, who's a really good receiver, then I'll come back and play. So now the two Spartans are getting ready to strap on the pads for Dusseldorf Panther, one of the most historically successful German clubs in the sport of American football. So we played Dusseldorf in my first season in um, Germany. Um, I know they had, they've had football there for a long time. They had the football league over there. I know um, James Harrison played for Ryan Byer over there, stuff like that. So the football there is, is pretty solid. I'm hoping like this just provides an image for other kids to just like, hey, like, this kid from a small town in Brattleboro who went to a small school in Vermont went and played football overseas. Like, that's something I could definitely do. And they're both thrilled to get at least one more season together as teammates. I think this experience is, is going to be, I think, my best one yet. Now, like you said, I do get to share this one with Tony. We were college teammates. Now we're both grown men, and we've matured. I'm just excited to, to play with my best friend again. I'm, I'm super grateful that he... Uh, he opened that door for me, and I'm just excited to practice again.